Hello everybody, this is Daniel Babis. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please do hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance here on the channel. Alright, so let's get into it today, guys. Uh, we have a story for you about uh, Natalie Mordovteva and Mike Youngquist uh, from Seattle, not Seattle, actually, he's from Sequim, Washington, a small town in, in, in the state of Washington. And we have a story about them. Uh, basically, it goes as follows. Is the drama that we see on 90 Day Fiance on this current season, is it all fake between these two? Some people are saying yes. And there is some information that's out there that might be pointing into that direction, or at least in the direction that the drama between them is at least somewhat, if not heavily, embellished. So here is the news, guys. So this was reported by TVShowsAce.com. So kudos to them for, for uh, running with the story. Now, this is also a theory that I've had myself for some time. Um, basically, uh, Natalie has started her YouTube channel. She has a YouTube channel now. As you expect, it's kind of like a trend now. You guys might have noticed this. It's happening more and more. Person comes on 90 Day Fiance. After a few episodes, person starts YouTube channel. And maybe after a few episodes, person starts OnlyFans. And so on and so forth. We've seen Devin Clegg do it. Now we're seeing Natalie Mordovceva do it. Uh, we've seen Anfisa Arkipchenko, who might be one of the bigger ones, do it. We see Big Ed Brown try his hand at, at YouTube doing mukbangs and stuffing his face uh, with food. I find this video really quite gross. We've seen a bunch of people try this route uh, of doing YouTube. So the latest person to do this is Natalie Mordovceva. And in, uh, you know, her latest videos, I guess, on YouTube, uh, she's showing off her kitchen. And this is the thing, guys. So according to TVShowsAce.com, they're saying that the kitchen, um, I haven't watched the latest video myself, and those are details that sometimes you really have to watch to really notice, uh, but they notice that the kitchen is different. Uh, she's showing off a brand new kitchen, and it looks nothing like the rinky-dink kitchen that is in uh, Mike's home on the current show, and we know that he lives in this kind of smallish home, uh, I believe it's like a farm, uh, and it's just, you know, he didn't have proper heating for a long time, Natalie was complaining about the cold, it just looks kind of slightly run down, dilapidated, uh, it doesn't look in the best condition, it doesn't look like Mike has pumped a lot of money into it. But in this video, this recent video, Natalie is showing off a brand new kitchen and it looks like it's not in the same house. So, this is where the rumors are coming from. Did Mike and Natalie sell, sell Mike's, uh, Mike's farm and upgrade? This is what it's looking like, guys. It's looking like they upgraded into something better, bigger and better. So, the money must be coming in from somewhere. Now, we do know uh, that Mike and Natalie have gone married. Um, I know I did a video of uh, like maybe last week where I wasn't quite sure someone in the comment section mentioned it and kudos to that person. Thank you very much. If, if I'm wrong guys, by the way, sometimes I, I'll say things as, as you notice, I, I talk very fast. I'll say things. So sometimes I might say something that is wrong. You guys feel free to correct me in the comment section. I look at all the comments and if there is something that is wrong, I will correct it in a later video, guys. I never pretend to be perfect, but I will try to correct if there is anything that I say that is wrong. So this, this one person mentioned in the comment section, I went and looked it up, and lo and behold, it looks like they indeed have a marriage certificate that I believe was issued like last year. So they are married, uh, and as we are seeing on the show right now, guys, if you watch the show right now, you would think that there is no way in hell that this couple is going to work out. There's no way. They have nothing in common. Natalie, she is like breaking down all the time. All she does is try to change Mike. You know, Mike, stop eating this. Mike, stop drinking. Uh, Mike, do this, do that. And it's just like, I don't think that Mike ever really told Natalie that he was going to change his eating habits, that he was going to become vegetarian as Natalie wants, or that he was going to stop drinking beer or alcohol in general. I don't think Mike ever expressed those wishes, so I really don't understand why Natalie is really picking on, on Mike for those things. It really comes across like very controlling, and I can see why Mike is really ticked off by that. Obviously, it doesn't really create this uh, kind of like atmosphere that these people are going to work out. On the other hand, Natalie, last time that Mike was in Ukraine, basically flicked his ring back at him. Take your ring back. We're not, you know, like whatever, whatever that meant. It seems like it's up in the air for interpretation because that meant one thing to Mike, which was that, you know, basically he kind of took it as Natalie didn't love him. 
and uh, now Natalie is just kind of begging for a ring back. It's really all kind of weird, I have to say, because I don't really understand Natalie's position. She often comes across like she is scatterbrained and that she just is very, very... I, I'm not sure if irrational is the, is the right word, but she's very jumpy. She's very jumpy. She looks like she has a lot of anxiety and thoughts are always running through her head. She looks very insecure. And we know that on the last episode, uh, I believe she accused Mike of cheating. Like, out of nowhere. She just basically, like, she went from zero to, oh, Mike, uh, you know, like, you're talking with this friend. I'm kind of like, I want to know what's going on. Mike keeps denying the allegations. And then she just threw that big accusation right in front. Oh, you are cheating, not like me. And so, like... I thought at that point in time, these people are done. There is no way they're going to work out. Of course, we know that they are indeed married, and everything is at least decent, or at least better than on the show in real life. But on the show, they have insane, crazy big drama. So, it's really shocking to me that this couple is married in real life. But, like I said, maybe they're doing it for the show. I'm not exactly sure. Look, a lot of people are saying that uh, the drama is fabricated between these two. You guys tell me what you think, you know? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think that maybe the drama is, is legit, it's real, and maybe they just got over it? You know, it happens, sometimes things go bad, and things get better, it happens. People work on their problems, and eventually they can, they can find solutions. Or do you think that the drama is fabricated, and uh, they kind of went into it thinking that they were going to embellish some of the things just to create more drama on the air. Look, I don't know, guys. I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, I Like I said, I never really thought this couple was going to work out. I still have my doubts. Even if they're married, I have my doubts that they're really going to work out long term. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, guys. I just wanted to give you this brief update on what is going on between Mike and Natalie on 90 Day Fiance. If you enjoyed the video, give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below and flick on that bell for the notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.